Welcome to Mountain Cooking with Missy. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious baked glazed ham. Mmm, y'all. So good. I'm going to get started on the glaze for the ham. So I'm going to use about a cup of Coca Cola. I'm going to use about two tablespoons of spicy brown Dijon mustard. I'm going to use about a quarter cup of pure maple syrup. I'm going to use about a quarter cup of bourbon whiskey and the alcohol cooks out of that. I'm going to use about a teaspoon of cloves and about a cup of pineapple juice and about a half a cup of dark brown sugar. Now I have all the ingredients. I put all of that in my, uh, my kittle here and I'm just going to bring this up to a bowl. I got on about a medium heat and I'm going to stir it and bring it up to about a medium, uh, bring it up to a simmer and I'm just going to let it simmer for about, about six to eight minutes. So once it starts to simmer, you're just going to let it simmer down until it starts to thicken just slightly. So I've turned the heat off the glaze. Um, now, once you do that, you can add in about a teaspoon of maple extract. And I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of orange extract. Now, you want to score the ham. This is a seven pound ham and we just got it turned over. It's like a half of a uh, ham, but it's seven pounds. You want to score the top. Only about an inch deep. Yeah, and it's like a diamond shape. So you want to score the top and you want to cover it with a little bit of the Dijon mustard. That way uh, we're going to put a little bit of the Pit Boss uh, Texas barbecue rub on it and before we put it in the oven. It's just a binder, basically. Yeah, it's a binder. You really Cover it generously. Uh, if you don't have this rub, you can use any kind of rub you want. Some brown sugar, paprika, a little bit of uh, salt and pepper will do. So we're, we're going to cover it up, put it in the oven. Our oven is set at 375. And we're going to bake it for about an hour. And then after an hour, we're going to uncover it. And then we're going to put the um start putting the glaze on yummy it's gonna be so good yeah buddy now i'm going to it's been an hour so i'm going to, i uncovered the ham and uh going to pour about half of this glaze over the ham so you see that when you score it like that that glaze goes down in there i'm gonna pour about half of it over there And we're going to stick it back in the oven, uncovered, uh, for about another hour. Oh, I about forgot. I do like to put, we put a few uh, pineapple slices on top of the ham, too. Uh, so I forgot <laughs> that part. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the glaze that I already poured over there and put it over these pineapple slices. So... That's going to go back in the oven for about another hour and let it just finish cooking, y'all. And I may glaze it again about every 10 minutes or so also while it's uh, back in the oven. All right, so I'm going to glaze it one more time. And it's about done, y'all. Look at that. It's already got some caramelization going on. Mmm. I'll let it sit a little while longer. I will put a little more glaze on it. I'm just going to let this glaze that I just put on it, the ham is hot. Just gonna let it sit on it, and I'm not gonna put it back in the oven because it is done, y'all. Don't wanna overdo it. Just gonna let it sit with this glaze, let it get down in those nooks and crannies, and let it sit for a little bit, and then we're going to 
taste it. Mmm, y'all look at that. All right, y'all. Daddy's gonna cut into this ham. Yes, ma'am. Mm -mm. Let's get rid of these little fellas. Look at that. Cut it into it. Yeah, scoring it, y'all, is the key. All right, take about it. See, it's juicy. Cooked it about two hours, so. But y'all, the glaze is good, I tell you. There we go. Mm. Check it out. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Oh, yeah, y'all. Nothing like good. a good ham. Good, juicy ham. Look at that. Watch it. Yeah, see, it's juicy. Not dry. Cut a little bit of fat off. off. Here we go. Yeah. Daddy approves. <laughs> y'all, there you go. If you mm. want a good Christmas ham recipe, this is, is how we do ours, and it's perfect every time, y'all. Mm. Now, if you got a bigger ham, you might leave cook it a little longer, just as long as it's about 160 degrees in the middle, because they're already pre-cooked. But I tell you, y'all, mm. mm. there you go. I hope y'all make this. If you do, let us know. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas everybody. Guys. Hope mm -hmm. you make this ham. Thank y'all for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy, where it's nothing fancy. Just, just good. good. Bye, Bye, guys. guys.